The festivities are in the air and the preparations for it had already started at Sunaina's house. Her uncle brought the decorative items and her mother started preparing for the food items. Dad started cleaning the house. Amidst all of this, Sunaina was walking around with a doll in her hand. She saw her cousin brother Mukul playing and asked, "Where is Aunty Mukul?" Sunaina didi, Ma is stitching in her room. As soon as she heard this, Sunaina ran to her aunty. "Aunty, aunty, will you help me?" "Yes, Sunaina, I will do it. What is the matter?" Festivals are approaching and everyone is bringing new clothes at home. I want my doll to wear new and colorful clothes too. I will need your help in this. I have stitched many clothes now. There is a lot of clipping left in them. We can make new clothes for your doll by the leftover clippings. Take this bag full of clippings. Pick whatever you like from it. Oh wow! There are many colorful clothes in it. Yes, Sunaina. It has different types of fabrics such as cotton, silk, and synthetic. You can make a frock or salwar kameez for your doll from any of them. All these clothes are so beautiful. Auntie, how are such beautiful clothes made? Sunaina, India is famous all over the world for making different kinds of clothes. The dress of each province of India is different and the clothes which are made there are also of different types cotton silk velvet woolen all kinds of cloth are made in small factories and workshops Sunaina if you look at the clothes carefully then you will know that every cloth is made up of weaving threads Oh yeah it looks like a thread mat Auntie, if the cloth is made up of thread, then where do these threads come from? To answer this question of Sunaina, her auntie removes thread from her sewing machine and scratches it into thin parts and shows it to Sunaina. Sunaina, these thin hair-like strands which are coming out of this thread are called fibers. Threads are made from these fibers. and then fabric is produced from them this is very interesting i will tell my friends about this but aunty i have never seen the fibers around all these produced a particular place sunaina so the fibers which are used to make different types of clothes are found in different places we get fiber from plants and animals Examples of fibers that we get from plants are cotton and jute. Silk and wool are the examples of fibers obtained from animals. These types of fibers are known as natural fibers. Earlier, clothes made of natural fibers were used. But from few years, fibers are also being made using chemical materials. These are called synthetic fibers. Aunty, what type of cloth is made using such fibers? They produce fabrics such as nylon, polyester, and acrylic. Sunaina, so now look around yourself and find things that have clothes made using natural fibers. The saree you are wearing looks like a cotton cloth. So this is an example of garment made up of natural fibers and this table cloth it appears to be a fabric made up of synthetic fibers. Absolutely correct Sunaina. This table cloth is made of nylon. Auntie also made a beautiful frock for Sunaina's doll which made Sunaina very happy. Sunaina thanked her aunt and dressed the doll in her new clothes. Then Sunaina ran to her friends. 
समीना मोहन सुबीर लुक हाउ ब्यूटीफुल फ्रॉक माय आंटी मेड फॉर माय डॉल एंड सिटिंग विद माय आंट टुडे आई आल्सो लर्न अ लॉट अबाउट क्लोथ्स रियली टेल अस टू सुनैना आई केम टू नो दैट द क्लोथ्स वी वियर ऑल मेड अप ऑफ थ्रेड्स एंड थ्रेड्स आर मेड ऑफ इवन थिनर एलिमेंट्स कॉल्ड फाइबर्स What is fiber? Remember the day when we were playing catch up and you fell down your pants got torn from the knee at that time some thin threads come out of the torn area there are fibers fibers are of two types one is natural which we get from plants and animals and the second one is synthetic which is produced from chemical substances Yes I have also heard about this from my father. He works in a clothing factory. Oh wow! Why don't we ask him how the fabric is made from fibers? Good idea. Let's go. And then all the children ran towards Mohan's house to learn more about clothes.